consider the Venn diagram that shows the cardinality of each set. Use this information to find the cardinality of the given sets. Remember, the number of elements in a set is called the cardinality of that set. The cardinality of the set A is noted using one of these notations here. So for the first question, we have the cardinality of set A. So looking at the Venn diagram, notice here is set A. The number of elements in set A is equal to 42 plus 30, which is 72, and therefore the cardinality of set A is 72. Notice of these 72 elements in set A, 42 elements are only in set A, and 30 elements are in set A and set B. Next we have the cardinality of U, which is a universal set, which is equal to the number of elements we are considering, which is the number of elements in this entire region here. The number of elements in the universal set is equal to 18 plus 42 plus 30 plus 38. And 18 plus 42 plus 30 plus 38 equals 128. The cardinality of the universal set is equal to 128. Next we have the cardinality of A union B, where the union of two sets A and B contains all the elements in either set A or set B, or the elements in both sets. So the union of set A and B is this set here, again that contains all the elements in set A or set B. Notice the number of elements in A union B is equal to 42 plus 30 plus 38, which is equal to 110. The cardinality of A union B is equal to 110. Next we have the cardinality of B complement, where the complement of a set A contains everything that is not in set A, and we use any of these notations here to denote A complement. So in our case we have the cardinality of B complement, which should be the number of elements not in set B. So here is set B, and therefore the cardinality of B complement is the number of elements outside set B, which is the number of elements in this set here. The number of elements in B complement is equal to 18 plus 42, which is equal to 60. Notice of the 60 elements in B complement, 42 are only in set A, and 18 of them are in the universal set, but not in set A or set B. For the last example, we have the cardinality of A complement intersect B, which means we're looking for the number of elements that are not in set A and in set B. So again, the elements have to be in set B, but not in set A. Looking at the Venn diagram, if we start with set B, but then exclude the values that are also in set A, the intersection of A complement and B is this set here. Again, this is a set where the elements are not in A and in set B, and therefore the cardinality of A complement intersect B is 38. I hope you found this helpful.